We gather in our historic amphitheater here in the heart of our Sanford campus to honor our founder, Ellen Quigley Sawn, affectionately known during her day as Mother Sawn. Founders Day traditionally is September 24th. That was the day that Sanford School first opened its doors to students. September 24th, 1930, 91 years ago. Think about that for a moment. For 91 years, there have been students walking and sometimes running up and down these hills, playing on our fields, and most importantly, learning in our classrooms. I'd like to spend a moment telling you a bit about our extraordinary first leader and educator, Ellen Quigley saw it. A woman who in 1930, during the Great Depression, at a time when most women were not serving in leadership capacities in our country, she opened her own school, Sunny Hill School, in a building called Sanford Hall, the first brick building you pass when you drive onto campus today. That was our first home. She was indeed ahead of her time. And quietly, over the years, the school grew. Sunny Hill School added Sanford Preparatory School for older students, later to be called Sanford School. We began to take on boarders, students who lived at Sanford, sometimes all year round. And they came from all over the world. Mother Sawin had a vision that all students needed a nurturing and challenging environment. They would have teachers and coaches who would tap into the best for their students, drawing out their very finest efforts. And of course, this led to our motto, no talent lies latent. Sanford students would excel at scholarship, sports, and the arts. They would be leaders on campus. Students would do chores in our buildings and in the fields, including providing care and support for younger students. For several years, my office, some of you know, was in Sanford Hall, as I mentioned, our first schoolhouse. Walking to my office, I often stopped and read a plaque that sits on the brick wall by the front door there. I presume it's been there for 91 years, as old as the building. And it contains a quote from our founder. It says, within every heart, there lies a dream. Heart. Sanford is a school with heart. Humbleness, a humility of spirit. I'd like to think that we inherited that spirit from our founder. Think about our school's name, Sanford. Ellen Q. Son could have named this school for herself, as many founders of that era did. Instead, our school is named in memory of Sanford W. Son, the child mother lost to illness in 1916 at the tender age of 10. Through what must have been a terrible heartbreak and sadness, Ellen Son founded our school, where students have thrived for over 90 years. Each day that we come here, we come together, we find our own talents. We honor her by what we do and how we live and work. We deepen the Sanford tradition and we continue to play a part in the Sanford legacy. So on Founders Day, I ask that you remember Ellen Q. Son and all those Sanford warriors who have come before you while they might not be here in this amphitheater with us today, I believe their spirit is still very much with us. It is their spirit that lies within our hearts. When we work for our own dreams, like that plaque says, I'm certain we will make them all very proud. Thank you.